guys, good to have you all back. Happy Sunday. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday wherever you are. I am having a fantastic Sunday. Uh, what is it that I want to do today? I have an insane happy meal to share with you guys. It is absolutely fantastic. This happy meal came from a Dutch friend of mine. She is also, like me, very much into vintage treasure hunting. And we collect a lot of stuff. And then now, now and then we just swap a big box of beautiful treasures so these are all the treasures that she has sent me this time and it's insane it's insane i'm gonna show you guys now disclaimer guys i already filmed this video yes and then something went horribly wrong with the lighting and the sound and i had to do it again but i already unwrapped everything <laughs> which is a shame because it was so beautifully wrapped uh but you know It'll be fine. I kept some of the beautiful um, sort of wrappings and packagings and put some stuff back. So I have seen everything. Yes, I'm going to try to act as surprised <laughs> and overjoyed as I did the first time. Because there are some amazing treasures in here. Yeah. Okay, let me start with this one. This one, it was wrapped. I didn't know what it was. It is actually a fantastic stamp. Even says Rotterdam on here. Didn't even know this. I don't know what it is about, guys. But I love it. Love it. It's probably for an office or something. Inspection. I don't know. It has a date and something. Probably for a company or an office. I love it. It's fantastic. You know, I love this. Yeah. Big, big stamp. Normally, I have a, an antique sort of stamp holder thing. Uh, similar to this one uh, let me show you yeah here's where i keep my uh, ink daubers yes uh, a carousel for for your for your stamps um i have a couple of them of them this won't fit it won't fit yeah what else did she send me well this was actually sort of wrapped around a package look at the beautiful lace love it so yeah of course i'm keeping this this was in something. Now, I, I do recognize this. I have something similar. I don't know exactly what it is. I need to try to figure it out. But there are clips in here that you could use to put on paper somehow. But I don't know how it works. Don't know how it works. I'll ask my husband, Tim. He'll probably know. He'll probably know. She sent me these lovely um, wooden spools with, uh, well, what is it? Thread on it. Probably for a sewing machine or what have you. I'm not going to use the threads. I just love these spools. I love the images on them. There's a clown on here. Yeah, silver clown. And then this one. Really cool. And this. Oh, it's like a different image on. Oh, yeah. Well, you can, if you're done with them, flip them. And then you have uh, new spools. <laughs> These all were sort of attached to packages, guys. Look at the cuties. Aren't they lovely? I just like them. Sort of Victorian babies. Or, yeah. So, uh, sort of metal. I don't know. Cute. Cute. This was on one of the packages. Love them. Sort of, um, oh, you could put a, it says, have a nice day. Uh, a photograph in it or, or what have you. For sure going to use these. So, yeah, love them. These are, I think, library cards. Our library cards are completely different than in the, um, in the US. Yeah, it says this book. And uh, for Hoover and Dieter. Again, from Rotterdam. You have a lot of stuff from Rotterdam. Yes, it's like the author, the title, the publisher, the price, the year. And I don't know, stuff. Love them. Whole bunch, whole bunch. They were clipped together with this one. Really, really cute. This is an absolute treasure. It was wrapped up really, really nicely. Then I know for sure she made the cover of this box. But the box probably um, is the original. Look at those. Oh, yes. Uh, I love them so much. They're small little vials. Yeah. And it says best fit. Best fit. Uh, with a number on it. They are empty. Luckily, I have no clue what was in there. But they're amazing. I am going to um, make these into small, small little journal dangles. Yeah. Uh, drill a hole in it and then put a loop on it. And probably put something in. I don't know what. Or you could do a little note and roll it up. Like a message in a bottle. Or 
or something. <laughs> oh yes, absolute treasure, absolute treasure. So one of the best finds. Oh, love it. Um, let's let's look at this one. Love the packaging. It was wrapped really nicely, like so, with baker's twine. And this is from an old something with postage stamps. These are vintage, guys. This is not like a digital. And it has some hardware in here that I really, really love. Yes. Do I have something to put this on? We should have... Uh, I don't know. Oh, here. Here it is. I'm going to put it on here. Yes. It has a big heart. Yeah. And then these. I don't know really what these are. They're not earrings for sure. Um, but I'm going to use them for closures. I have two of them. And these sort of book plate thingies. But... Odd shapes. I have the rectangular ones. A gazillion of them. I've never seen these. And I love them. Like two uh, square ones. This one. And two oval ones. Love them. Love them. Let's do the other hardware as well. This was so cute. Um, I pick these little sort of jars up all the time. Don't throw it on the floor, love. Sorry guys, threw it on the floor by accident, by accident. Yes, I pick these up all the time and I um, keep my button collection in these small little jars. Yeah, these are my buttons. These are actually fantastic. Lots of hearts in here. Yes, these sort of heart dangles, charms, really cool. Uh, but what I really love, well, I love these fat laser. Amazing, look at those, oh, fantastic. Um, is it called a cami or cameo? In the Netherlands it's called a came or cameo. I don't know. I love them. I sent her some. Um, last time I sent her a sort of a happy mail. Because I also have some myself. But just in one style. I think in one style. But she has loads. And I adore them. I have another one here. Yeah. Love them. Love, love, love them. So, yes. Cute. Very, very cute. Very cute. Uh, what else did she send me? Um, this book. Let me show you this book. Let me show you the book. She got me four. All of them were really nicely packaged. I'm going to show you the packaging and the wrapping paper uh, later, guys. I salvaged some of it. Uh, book about butterflies and other insects. Um, this is actually really funny. Sort of a funny book. This is from our national lottery. Yes, everyone plays the lottery. Well, most people do. I don't. Uh, and then this is sort of a consolation prize. <laughs> so if you play the lottery and you haven't won anything for ever, then they send you a book. There are a couple of um, sort of editions from there. Uh, I think there's one with birds, one with trees, and now one with butterflies. I have the one with the birds somewhere. I didn't have this one, so thank you so much, love. Uh, you find these very... If you're a Dutchie, you find these in thrift shops all the time. Yeah, what is very, very, very funny, it came with uh, some flower seeds. Yeah, and I love this. Look at those. Yes, for fussy cutting. Or, you know, put this in a journal. Oh, that's nice. I'm just going to decorate this part. And then put the rest in sort of a journal. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, it has photographs in here, but also lovely illustrations. Yeah. And it's about butterflies and bugs and such. So, didn't have this one. So, thank you so much, lovey. This one. It's about making and dressing dolls, house dolls. Whatever. It's about dolls' houses. I love dolls' houses. My husband thinks they're creepy and they actually are but it has some lovely images in them look look at those i just love it yes it's creepy i agree with you tim it's creepy so it has these lovely sort of um big photographs in them uh from dollhouses but also some uh patterns how to make the clothing for the doll dolls, for the dolls in the dolls houses oh this is actually scanned see well somebody was smart and scanned it yeah um, yeah, well, I love this. I'm probably going to sort of fuzzy cut this and color it. And Oh, look. Yes, it's a wedding. Ah, amazing. I don't have don't have this one. This is a, an English one, guys. Can I can I tell you something about it? I don't know. Uh, first published in 1992. Copyright photographed by Jonathan Bosley. 
text patterns illustration by Sue Atkinson, 1992. This is the ESPN number in case you are in love with the book. Yeah. Love it. Didn't have this one, of course. No, I did have this one. But that's okay because, you know, it's Marjolein Bastin. You all know this is one of my favorite, well, probably my favorite um, Dutch illustrators. I already have this book, but now I have a second copy, which means, which means, guys, I can completely cut it up. And that's what I'm going to do. I love the cover as well. Look at sort of the um, uh, marbled um, cover. Yeah. She is, this is like the Edith Holden sort of book. Yeah. With all the sort of faux handwriting and then the illustrations. Now, I love this illustrator. However, she is no Edith Holden. No, nobody is. Edith Holden, uh, very, very famous and very, very good. But the the pages are really interesting. I like them to make um, envelopes from, pockets from, or just as pages in your journal. So now I have one to uh, completely cut up. I have a little. I have a funny story about this book. It's a beautiful book. First off, it's an amazing book. Let me show you. Uh, Flora of the Netherlands. Yes, I love the inside of the cover as well. It is from. I don't know the exact date, but the, the drawings, the illustrations in them are uh, from 1859 uh, until 1862. So, yeah, but it's printed a lot, a lot, lot later. But I couldn't see the date when it was sort of printed anywhere. But that's OK. Let me show you the, the illustrations. Fantastic, right? Yes, even though the illustrations themselves are antique, I cannot scan from the book. So. I'm sorry, lobbies. I just love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Uh, story about the book is I found this book on Marktplatz, which is the Dutch eBay. I knew about the book and I was like, yes, finally found one. Bit on it. And then there was this other lady with a name I did not recognize. And then she bit on it. And I was like, no, 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 no. I want this book. And then I bit on it again. And then I got a lovely message from the from my friend who this sort of <laughs> Happy Meal is from. And she was like, Margaret, stop bidding on this book. I was like, why? Because you're bidding against me. <laughs> so we were in a bidding war. I, she, did, she recognized my, my name because I used my own name. And she had something lovely as a name. Um, so yeah, we were in a bidding war and I said, okay, it's yours. Well, the actual book that we were bidding on went for an astronomical high price. Um, yeah, so she didn't buy the book, but then she was Googling it and she found two of them for a very reasonable price. So she gifted me one. We both have one. So yeah, thank you so much, love. I'm going to treasure it. Now I need a second one because I want to cut it up, of course. So yeah, uh, was that it for the books? Yes, for the books, but I have so much more, guys. Let me share what's in these lovely vintage boxes. Yes, this was nicely packaged. I love it. Fantastic uh, vintage photograph on here with all gentlemen. I don't know what they're doing, but you know, Tim Holtz would love it. Also love the tape going to self. That's why I kept it, because I want to salvage the tape. Yeah, and then this is in here. This is like um, a quartet, like part cheesy or old maid or a, a, a dutch game um and it has this lovely a birth announcement card in here isn't that lovely yeah anki yes from 1968 so she is a little bit older than i am yeah really cute and this game now i already have this one but now i have another one so i could use it i could use it I especially love the boxes. I keep the boxes always um, to store in bits and bobs and such. I love, just love these boxes. So lovely little vintage card game. And then this one, uh, lovely decoration, right? Yes. Had these in them. Aren't these amazing? I already had some of these. I bought them from um, someone on Instagram, uh, but different colors. I think these are for like motorcycles or scooters or or bicycles or what have you they're metal love them so now i have four like lavender purpley ones yes i had some yellow ones and you've probably seen it in one of my whole videos yeah so i love them and i love the packaging really really nice then this one yeah lovely decorating yeah and it has 
vintage price tags in them. These are all connected to one another. Yeah. Love it. Love it. And it also has tickets from um, Efteling. Now, Efteling is like the Dutch uh, Disneyland. Yeah, it's our biggest theme park. It's a really, really good one. I must say, if you're ever in the Netherlands, you must visit it. There are so many videos on YouTube uh, from foreigners from all over the world who visit uh, Efteling and then they video it. And they're always like, what? Way better than Disney. Well, I don't think it's better than Disney, but uh, it's really, really good. Yeah, so a lovely box. I love this as well. Yes, there is real stuff. So really cool. And this box, again, it was very nicely packaged. It's a beautiful box. The box itself, I would completely fall in love with. I hope you have more of these, love. You probably do. Um, yeah. I just, you know, I just love the box. <laughs> I just love the box a lot. And it ha it's, it's original. Everything here is original. It has um, these in them. These are threads. Yes, cotton or... Oh, more silky. Look at those. Yeah, it has sort of this in it. And they're complete. It's new in the packaging. However, it's probably really old. Couldn't find a date. But yeah, these are at least 60 years old. Maybe even, uh, probably more. These are uh, probably even more. Yeah, I, I just love them. Love, love, love them. Such a beautiful treasure. Such a beautiful treasure. Yeah, amazing. Let me show you this. This was on one of the sort of wrappings. Another beautiful postcard with, uh, well, there's a band on here. Yeah. It was from 1928. Okay. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. And the packaging was lovely. Speaking of packaging, I'm going to show you a little bit that I salvaged. This was on one of the packagings, <laughs> the wrappings. Isn't that gorgeous? That's real stuff, guys. Yes, yeah, a real sort of receipt. And then this one, another real one with a photograph. I love the photograph. This is... Doesn't have a date. Probably late 20s, early 30s. I can tell by the hats. This is probably this, from this era. I love, love it, love it, love it. So the packaging was beautiful. Thank you so much, lovey. Uh, more treasures. Let me show you these. I'm still not sure what this is. Um, it, this came with a little booklet. says um, nursery rhymes sort of border. With all the nursery rhymes in there. That if you're Dutch you all know this. And it's actually it's a this. <laughs> it could be a, wall, a wallpaper border. It's, it's big. It's very very long. Yeah. Like yay long. <laughs> uh, let me see how long is it about this is about 22 inches 44 inches big one and I think they're even all uh, different it could be all different as well yes they're all different it's fantastic it, I, I have no clue um, it could be for wallpaper in a nursery that you could sort of you know put it on Love that. Never seen it. Never ever seen it. I'm going to contact her and ask her what she thinks it is. <laughs> it was amazing. That's what it is. Another one of these. Now let me show. Let me show you these first because she gifted me these. These are uh, receipts. I love the letterhead. It's fantastic. This is from uh, the late 30s. Yes, 39, 38, 35. I saw some dates on here. Uh, I I don't have these. Never seen these. It's fantastic. Yes, it's all about um, pluim footers. It's like um, for your chickens, food for your chickens, like grain and food for chickens, grain and flour and I don't know. They're just absolutely fantastic. What Amsterrade? I don't know. I don't know. Well, love them. Love them. Now, from one of these, she made uh, this sort of uh, uh, coin envelope thingy with lovely decorating on it. Cute, right? Yes. And then this was the closure. Nicely done. Love. Nicely done. Um, and she and she um, packaged this. Fantastic. 
buttons. Yes, love the buttons, but I love the card that they came on way more. It's totally intact. It's just beautiful. It says here, um, 10 cents. This probably was 10 cents. Um, and the date on this is 1941. So they are at least from 1941. Isn't that great? I don't sew at all. I cannot even sew on a button for the life of me. No, uh, but I do collect all this. Yes, of course you do, because you could collect everything. Another one of these bales. So pretty. That's why I kept these, because I'm going to use this for sure, for sure. Yeah, and then these are sort of guest checks. I love the color yellow. Very bright. For uh, probably a restaurant or a bar, because these are all beverages. Also drinks alcohol and and cigarettes there are always cig also cigarettes on here so a whole bunch of them love it love it this was completely uh sort of i salvaged this yes because i could um slide this one out yes it is handkerchiefs these are irish linen uh pure irish linen handkerchiefs isn't that fantastic yeah probably bought in uh, in Ireland as well. I'm going to keep them in here as is. I'm not going to touch them. They're pretty. They're pr completely discolored. Yeah, you can see some of the yellow and I don't I don't care. I just love handkerchiefs. And then this one, beautiful paper. I just had to flip this up. I did not know what this was, guys. Um I have these are two booklets. I have a pink one and a blue one. Yeah. And I was like, what is this a party bulletin? I, I, did not, I did not read this because this gives it away, but I didn't read it. I was like Spanish, Russian, Scottish, uh, whatever. Um, and then it had this. That didn't make any sense at all to me. Other than it being fantastic. Numbers, numbers, numbers. And, and it's just, it's just awesome. It's just awesome. So yeah, I was, uh, and then there were some some um, names in the back, yes, that I don't know, but I think I figured out what it is because it says here um, a chess club. So it's actually this is for chess. This is probably a game between, well, um, Mr. Bogdanovich, maybe I even know this name, against Padewski. I I don't know. Yes. Against Karpov. Yeah, if you're a chess player, you're like, of course, these are very famous names. I don't know. So then this is sort of the the whole match. Could be, I don't know, because I don't play chess. No, I'm not that smart. But I love them. These pages are amazing. It's great. So yeah, I was really surprised. And I've never seen it. And to me, a real chip treasure. I am going to use some of the pages. For sure. I am not done, guys. I'm not done. I have more. Let me show told you. you it was like an insane happy meal. Yes. This came wrapped up. So I did, know, I did not know what it was. It's like a, a cylinder. And I open it up. And it's like, this is wood. Yes. Uh, veneer. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So I was like, what? What is this? Very interesting. And then you open it up. And she put this inside. Fantastic. <laughs> I love it. It's woolies and sort of yarns and such. She mentioned these with all the numbers. These are vintage. It's just like four toppers on tags. Just, you know, cut it up and then put it on, on the tag. Insane. Insane. And I absolutely love it. Uh, lots of pinks in here because she knows I love my pinks. I love my pinks. I've never seen this. It's really, And this is wire with pom-poms on it. Uh, gingham in pink and beautiful lace. I have this in grey somewhere. I do have this in grey. It has these uh, sort of flowers on them. Let me uh, let me show them. Yeah, I have this in grey. Isn't that pretty? For well, on a journal topper or a cover. Yeah, it's a topper. And I love this packaging. This um, this could be like um, for when you make uh, a journal that you can roll up i think i believe natasha from um treasure books made one at one point i don't remember but fantastic 
I have lots of paper, lots of paper to share. She gifted me this. This is a, a sort of a grid with a, a banner all around them. And I'm hoping you can see, guys. Yeah, it came from probably an album. What does this say? Uh, you could order it. Stell Code of Victoria. And it, it has The Hague on it. I just adore it. It's nicely discolored. And I'm going to use it in journals or for backings or what have you. Some beautiful paper. Uh, this is probably watercolor paper. It's very heavy or from a sketchbook. So I love this. She mentioned this. This actually came from a big vintage wedding photo album. Yeah, has two colors in them. This is um, the sort of cream color. And this is handmade paper. It's absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, very heavy cardstock with the vellum on it. And also I have the black, this one, and the black cardstock, and then the sort of grayish vellum. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, so that's it for sort of the blank paper. Oh, I also have this one. Oh yeah, an absolute, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna keep this one. I have a treasure at the end. We'll have more treasures at the end, loves. Um, do you like scrapbook paper? I like scrapbook paper, yes. And I told her, and she was like, well, I have some scrapbook paper for you. Let me show you. This was all wrapped up really, really nicely, <laughs> guys. This is actually a kit um, from Stamperia. Yeah. With a pop-up card kit. I've never heard of this. Um, it has these. You could, and, and it has numbers on them. See? Uh, you can pop these out. Yes. They don't need to be cut. They're already sort of die cut for you has all these numbers on them and then i believe on the last one yeah it has sort of the instructions what goes where so it's a tutorial from this guy kit pop up great right it's, it's very steampunky and and such so i might try this soon it's really cool. It's really cool. I don't know if this is uh, still available or what have you, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is a beautiful uh, paper pad uh, with 50 textured papers. Arts and Crafts from Paper Mania. I don't know. I don't know the, the brand. Hallmark's cards. Um, it's single-sided. It has a little bit of structure on it. And this is all William Morris designs. I don't know if you know who he is. I love it. It's a, it's a designer from um, the early 1900s, I believe. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I recognize a lot of these. Um, this, for instance. A lot of these designs. Yeah, it's amazing. And it was new, completely new in the packaging. And Thank you so much, love. Thank you so much. Now, we had a lovely conversation because we do chat uh, once once in a while about scrapbook paper. And I told her my love for Graphic 45 that has been going on for years and years. Now, Graphic 45 is insanely expensive. So I only have one paper pad that I've had for a long, long time. Uh, and recently I did um, a project uh, with some papers from Do A Ding, the Mermaid Journal I made from Graphic 45. And then my friend says, oh, you like Graphic 45? Oh, I have a gazillion papers from Graf Graphic 45. I was like, what? Yeah, so she got me some. And then some, and then some. Yes, look at this. This is all Graphic 45. I don't know if you know this. It's a beautiful brand. It's up there with, um, you know, Mr. Tim Holtz. <laughs> uh, uh, Price-wise, I just love them. I'm not going to show all of them to you guys because... We'll be here until the... Well, I'm going to quickly show them. Quickly show them. I love them. I Do I have this one? I have one pack. I don't even know. Which one do I have? No, I have Bloom when you're planted. I have this one. This was an 8x8. Uh, I've used one piece of it. <laughs> because it's so expensive and I love it so much. So I'm hoarding it, hoarding it. Oh, fantastic. I don't love everything uh, Graphic 45 makes. There's some... Of them that are too bright and modern. Um, but these are these stickers. It comes with stickers, guys. Uh, everything is double-sided. 
Yes, this is. I love this one. Yeah, this is. What is this called? This is from 2012. It's an old one. Place in time. Yes, they've been designing for years and years. And I know all the, all of them. Well, you know, I see them on, on, on the interwebs and such. <laughs> yes, and they're gorgeous. So I recognize a lot of them. A lot of them. Yeah. Isn't that fantastic? I know I'm going very, very quickly. But, you know, humor me because there's some... Halloween one. Now, I might use this for Halloween, guys. I might do a one Halloween project this year. Halloween is not a Dutch thing. It's not a Dutch holiday. They made it into a Dutch holiday uh, because, you know, uh, they do celebrate Halloween now because they commercialized it. Is that a word? Yes, because, well, you can sell Halloween. You can sell Halloween, but it's not Dutch at all. No, it's not. So, yeah, they're... Oh, lovely. Uh, there are a gazillion of them and i love all of them they're amazing will i use them i probably will but for now i'm just gonna hoard them and enjoy them a lot a lot and then she also gifted me silly woman <laughs> she gave me so much these are the die cuts that came um with all the packs yeah so i have the normal sort of die cuts and then also the chipboard. And these are completely new in the packaging. Yeah. I just, you know, love them. Love, love, love them. I am extremely happy with this. Extremely. So yeah. Lots of scrapbook paper. I have a couple of things that I want to show you. Some real, real treasures. She sent me this pretty vintage sort of sewing magazine. Yes, it's actually for knitting. It's from 1970, which is a very good year because that's the year I was born. Yeah, it's, I've never seen this. Yeah, so this is actual, the, the sort of cover. And then this comes in it. There are the, and here are the, it was one gilder. Yeah, we had gilders then, not gyros. These are all the patterns with photographs. Really lovely. And then this is sort of, uh, I didn't know what it was. I love the advertisement pieces. And then I was like, what is this? This is sort of the, the magazine. Look at the pictures. I love them. Love them. <laughs> with the fashion ladies. With all knitted clothing pieces. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> I just love this. I love this so much. Uh, look at the hairdos and the makeup. And well, the fashion. I, it's 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 fantastic. I just love it. Yeah. No, I cannot scan it, guys. But I probably use it at one point. I need to make a sewing journal. I know. I know. And then more advertisement pieces. And then you also have this. Look, isn't that cool? I just love it with all the sort of uh, different color uh, yarns that they uh, sell to make all these. Great, right? Yeah. So absolute treasure i would have been over the moon if i found this in a thrift shop or or whatever wherever you found it love yeah oh look i didn't even see the back Ooh, fancy fancy yeah and then she gave me beautiful boxes let me show you last time we met up we spoke about these boxes that i'm going to show you and she was like oh i have a gazillion of them i'll send you some uh, first of this, I I love this sort of print. It also comes on sort of uh, uh, book covers or on maps or what have you. It's a very old box. It, I don't see a date on this. I just love this on here. Um, yeah, it's an original. It's a vintage one. I'm just going to keep this for storage of vintage ephemera. It's just really cool. So one of these that I absolutely love. And then she gifted me three. I'm just going to show you one, guys. Three of these. Yes. I'm hoping you can see. Um, these are doche mobs. I don't know. I don't know. This is the front. Yeah. You can. There's sort of a book plate in here. You can put a, a number, a word or whatever. Yeah. They're big. They're sturdy. They're really old. And then you pull this. This is metal. And you pull this. And then this slits out. Yeah. <laughs> Where you can store all your documents in just 
too amazing. I just love it so much. Now these were completely filled up. Oh, there's a there's a sort of a sticker in here. Yeah, these were completely filled up with all the lovely goodies that she sent me. Uh, I'm, and I'm gonna use these for sure. Yeah, see, you put it back and then you you pull this and it slits out. And I have three of them, so I can stack them on top of each other. Love it. When do you find this? And if you find it, it's probably going to be expensive. And now I know her. She is like a bargain hunter. Um, like like me. <laughs> so she probably got these for a good, good deal. So, yeah. Biggest treasure. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my insane happy meal. Thank you so, so much to my wonderful friend who gifted me this. Uh, you are amazing. <laughs> and I love everything. I hope you really like your Happy Mail as well. I sent her a small package. Well, we exchanged it because this was way too much to put in the mail. So we met up at uh, Do A Ding. Had a lovely chat again. And um, we are going to go on a, on a treasure hunt together soon. Hopefully later uh, this summer. summer. So I'm going to take her to some of my you know best spots and she's gonna take me to some of her so we're gonna go on a treasure hunt guys i'll be back again tomorrow uh with another crafty video so completely different to this one i hope you will join me then and uh for now have a wonderful sunday see you tomorrow bye guys